uh, Ms. Lavoie had briefed the City Council back in January on sort of the budget looking forward here. One of the things she pointed out was uh, city revenues are starting to flatline. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an update on um, economic conditions and how it may be affecting the city budget as a as you look toward the summer? Yeah. I I'd, I'd hate to speculate too much on the whole budget because I just haven't seen. We're just in the construction phase right now in our own departments on the next budget. Um, so, uh, but I saw the same thing you saw, which is, um, you know, I, and this is a, a, an amateur economist theory, uh, but I would think that the cost of living, the cost of going out to eat, the cost of uh, just, uh, you know, the inflation that's happening in our uh, community is going to perturb folks from, you know, having a, a higher income and spending more money and um, and uh, certainly interest rates, uh, you know, as you know, our general fund is uh, the largest um, uh, payer into the general funds property tax. And so uh, inflation, uh, you know, certainly can have a, a dampening impact on the interest in, in uh, home sales and commercial uh, real estate, things like that. So. Um, uh, for my amateur economist brain, that's what I would. When I see that flatlining, that's what I, that's what I see. Um, someone uh, more expert could, uh, like Amy, might be able to have a different theory. But, um, uh, but you know, in terms of just operations, are we are we changing anything or modifying anything based on, on that at this point now? Um, you know, we feel good about where we are. Um, you know, and uh, well, but it's uh, certainly as if that. You know, if we start to see even more dire, you know, economic conditions down the road, as we always would, we would, you know, start looking at that with a fine tooth comb and start to adapt. But um, so we hope to see a, that curve come back uh, and that we continue to see that upward trajectory. But we'll keep an eye on it.